Hey guys, hope you're doing well as always and welcome back to another video and today the stakes could not be higher. It is West Ham United at home to Leeds United and it is do or die today for Leeds. A win would see them out of the relegation zone but if they lose today they are practically relegated. With a final game at home to Spurs who admittedly aren't in the best run of form. It's a tricky fixture for Leeds to end it on but they've got to get through the fixture today and really in my opinion they need to get a win. With Sam Allardyce at the helm they've got the perfect man in charge to try and save them but there's only so much he can do and it's up to those players on the pitch to try and guarantee survival. On Thursday night, West Ham secured themselves a place in the Europa Conference League final after beating AZ. A lot of their key players featured in that. So there's potentially some rotation in the team today. But let's just get straight up there, see what these teams have got in store for us. We're in the West Ham end. My dad's a Leeds fan as well, by the way. So we're going to keep that relatively quiet. But it is a massive day. Let's just get straight up there and hope for a good game of football and hope for a Leeds result. But... Don't tell anyone I said that. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the London Stadium and it's a big game, a big day for you, a big day for me because obviously, thanks to you, my emotions are invested in the away side today. I'm going to hand over straight to you. What are you thinking? How are you feeling? A little bit nervous, obviously. Sorry, Hammers, I am a Leeds fan and to think at the beginning of the season, we went to see Leeds at home to Chelsea and it was one of the best performances I've ever seen from Leeds and one of the best days of my life. Somehow with two games to go, we find ourselves in deep doo-doo. I suppose the good news about today is it's not, whatever happens today, it's not all done and dusted. We're not down quite yet, but we do really need something from today. We need at least a draw. Obviously, I hope for a win. I have the feeling it's going to be a draw, so I'm going for a 1 1 draw. Very liberal considering the circumstances that you find yourselves in. Yeah, unsurprisingly, that Chelsea game was one of the worst days of my life. I'm back in Leeds today. I do think that they will be able to get the result. I think it's going to be close, but I think the scoreline won't necessarily reflect that. And I'm actually going to go for 3-1 to Leeds. I know you guys have struggled to put the ball in the back of the net. When I saw West Ham against Crystal Palace, they weren't great. They were really flat. And I think they're going to be tired after their fixture midweek. They're playing a lot of the same players from that game. I think they will struggle against Leeds. And if Leeds can just put the ball in the back of the net, I think that they might be able to get the result. So if you give me that now, I'll tell Take it. Yeah, Just about it, <laughs> I'm you know. not surprised. But we'll see what happens, ladies and gents. It's going to be nervy. You've got to try your best not to support the wrong team. Yeah, I'm not going to upset anyone. Let's just go to our seats, see what happens. Come on, Leeds. And we like West Ham for what it's worth. I do yeah, like we do. West Ham. We love West Ham. But today we don't want it to win. favour West Ham, please. Big Just time. Today. So starting off the food review, what have we gone for today? Well, I've <clears throat> gone for the uh, beef burger. Uh, but interestingly, this looks remarkably like a chicken burger. But I was del deliberating between the two anyway, so let's give it a go. Looks nice. I've got a little dirty. Thank you. Um, moist, not bad. A bit bit more taste, but pretty good. I'm going for 7 out of 10. Decent stuff. Okay, so what have you gone for today? I've gone for a hot dog. Play it safe, play it simple. Uh, John, enough preamble, I'm just going to get straight into it. Get stuck in. Do you know what? You can't go wrong with a hot dog. Very mustardy. Oh. And if you like mustard, that's good. I like my mustard. Do you know what? I'll give it an 8 out of 10. It's a good nice. hot dog. Can't go wrong. Look good. Happy, happy days. And now come the two teams, two West Ham club anthem. And what an iconic team it is. Big pressure for those Leeds players down there. They really need a result today. And you see how much it means to Leeds fans like my dad. They need to pick up a decent result here if they want to stay in the Premier League. <laughs> We're underway 
ladies and gents. Those Leeds fans in full voice today. I wouldn't expect anything less. Bamford's in. Oh, that's a poor touch. That's a chance wasted for Leeds. Possession given away by West Ham. And that is a prime example of what Leeds have not been doing right this season, and that's taken those chances. He had to hit that first time. Brilliant save. Best chance of the game so far. It's been all Leeds. First 10 minutes so far has been pretty much all leads with the better chances. West Ham have got the ball in some decent areas, but they haven't been able to do anything with it. Leeds have created decent chances, but they just haven't been able to put the ball in the back of the net. Both sides really need to improve going forward, but Leeds especially, if they can find that clinical touch, this game should be a walk in the park for them. No. Rodrigo fires home and it's Leeds. Who's going from? Look at how much it means to those players and the coaching staff. Those fans over there as well in jubilation. I was just saying about Winston McKennie and his long throws and how dangerous they are. And he's proved it there. Great ball into the box. And what a finish by Rodrigo. That's the Rodrigo that we saw at the start of the season. Excellent finish. Leads 1-0 up. It's a big goal for them. Ball into no one, but it's out for a corner. And we saw how deadly West Ham were from corners against Palace. Can they channel what they had at Palace into this game against Leeds from corners? We'll have to wait and see. It's a great ball. He's tried that in-swinging corner twice and it's very nearly worked both times. Interesting. And somehow it is kept out by Leeds as they hang on. When you talk about bodies on the line, that embodies that to a T. About three or four players throwing themselves in front of the ball there and ultimately it is the goalkeeper who stops it from going in. Leeds hang on. Great ball. Ladies and gents, it have been coming. They've been the better side for the last 10 minutes. Leeds completely sat back, let them attack. And they've suffered as a consequence. West Ham get their reward through the captain, Declan Rice. It's game on. Crunch time now for Big Sam. He's forced into a substitution. Patrick Bamford's coming off injured. And Wilfred Nonto is lining up to replace him. And the substitution is being made. And Wilfred Nonto is certainly a danger man valuable asset for Leeds in this game. Bamford was playing well until his injury. He's not been the most consistent of players, but he led the line well. Chance for West Ham to counter his. Four now as he's running ahead of him. Oh, and it's blazed wide. Great chance for West Ham. Wasted. Brilliant save. Great counter attack again from West Ham. Zuma dispossessed. Rodrigo's in. Oh, it's skewed. And that is terrible from Leeds United. A golden opportunity gifted by Kurt Zuma. Sam Allardyce is fuming. Oh, whiskers away. Luca Paqueta. And that is half time, ladies and gents. Both sides had a golden opportunity presented at either end. Leeds, I honestly don't know how they didn't score that. Ridiculous. But both sides hang on for now. It's an open game for the second half. So, ladies and gents, that is half time. And a mixed bag of apples, really. I'd say Leeds probably had the better chances, but they couldn't convert, which is what we were saying at the beginning of the game. It's been their biggest problem all season. West Ham 
looked fairly flat, but they took their chances when they got them. Came very close in other circumstances as well. But what are your thoughts at half time? Uh, just what you said, really. Uh, for the first 15, 20, maybe even 25 minutes, I thought Leeds played well. Uh, had some good opportunities. Um, Bamford actually was in some good positions. But it's just the story of the whole season, really, or most of the season. Uh, too many good opportunities wasted. Um, I missed the last few minutes and I've just seen another opportunity wasted. So, uh, yeah. I think we are just about deserved a 1-1, but they just definitely deserve their goal. And uh, the last 15, 20 minutes played very well with West Ham, so I'd say West Ham are very much on top at the moment. I think it was one of those games where it just came in periods. Leeds started the better side, then West Ham got back into it. And I'd probably say that Leeds probably finished the half the better side, but we'll have to see what happens. The injury of Bamford is massive, by the way, because since then, Leeds have been trying to play the same way, but without that big man up top, they're not winning the headers, they're not winning those second balls, and they're going to need a plan B for the second half. But we'll see what happens, see if West Ham can pick up the tempo a little bit, play some better final balls, still hoping for the same result that we did at the beginning. The game is back underway, ladies and gents. Big second half. Chance missed, and the flag eventually does go up. There's no surprise to anyone. It's a corner for West Ham, they've probably just about been the better side this second half. Not been the most entertaining start to the second half we've seen, but West Ham are just about edging it as Leeds United are lining up a substitute, but there's a West Ham corner first. Brilliant save, and it is another corner. A tricky one for the keeper to deal with, but he dealt with it just about. Brilliant save. <laughs> Great block. Things starting to get a bit more end-to-end, -end, a bit more exciting. There's one more goal at the very least in this, I can feel it. It looked questionable whether or not it was offside, but for now the flag stays down and West Ham United go 2-1 up against Leeds. And look at what it means to those West Ham fans. They are checking for a possible offside. And having checked my own VAR, what I recorded, he's well offside. There's no way that this is going to count and Leeds survived there. That is a lifeline. And he's been given as a goal. I can't lie, from my replay, that looked blatant as an offside. I am gobsmacked. Leeds get the ball underway very quickly, understandably so, but that looked well offside. It is a mountain to climb now for Leeds. This is really tough. They need two goals if they want to win this game. One if they want to draw. I feel like at this point you take a draw, but really they need the win. Those West Ham fans in dreamland for those Leeds fans. Give it a long journey home, made even longer if they don't pick up a point at the very least. Yeah. And Bowen's in again here. Rice. Brilliant defending from Luke Ayling. He throws his body on the line again. That's one thing you can't take away from Leeds' game, is they have thrown their body in front of everything they can. Great ball. And it's Somerville. Hung on by West Ham for now. And it's blazed over. They have got about 15 minutes to try and get at least a goal to get them back into this game. Otherwise, it is curtain. Good ball. Oh, no one there to attack it. It's a wild challenge from Rodrigo there. That's one out of frustration. And here comes Somerville. And it's just missed. And the follow-up is scuffed from Aronson. How on earth has that not ended up in the back of the West Ham net? Leeds are playing some nervous, nervous stuff at the moment. There's just no fluidity. There's no confidence. And they've got five minutes. They need a goal. At the end of the day, they just need to take these chances. And with so much riding on this result, it's understandable. But they've got to take these chances. Fabianski just manages to claw it away. And here comes Piquetta. 
great ball through to Ings. And Robles manages to save Leeds again. Seven minutes of added time. And you can hear the groan around the stadium for the excitement amongst those Leeds fans. There's still time. West Ham are in. Brilliant defending once again from Leeds. End to end stuff as Leeds are throwing everything that they've got. But it's West Ham who look to counter. The London Stadium erupts one last time as the Leeds fans begin to filter out their going home and who can blame them? And it is a substitute, Lanzini, who puts the ball in the back of the net. All hope that Leeds had for salvaging the result this game is gone. And it's just been one of those days again for Leeds. They weren't clinical in front of goal, they haven't been. And they've been sloppy at the back in moments when it matters the most. VAR checking for offside. And the goal stands. I'm not sure what they were checking for, but it doesn't matter anymore. No offside, goal for West Ham. And Piquet is in. It could be another. Squares it terribly. You had a feeling that was coming and a feeling that that would be the result. Oh, it leads just a battle get away with conceding another. And that's it, it's full time. And the body language of those Leeds players tells you that it's out of their hands now. Their Premier League fate lies elsewhere. A trip to Tottenham and a good result there is what they need. And Everton to drop points for their survival. But for those West Ham players, they played well. They did the job that they needed to do. And they were clinical in front of goal, which Leeds United weren't. And in front of those Leeds fans, the ones that are left, some applaud, some scorn. Leeds defended with their hearts, but in front of goal, it's the same story. They just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. And that's the reason why they lost today. <laughs> Ladies and gents, we find ourselves back here again and it feels like more of the same for Leeds. I'm going to pass straight over to you. Ram, get anything you want off your chest. The floor is yours. No shit, over to you. <laughs> yeah, absolute crap. Really, really disappointed, dejected, gutted, all of those. I think um, what we saw today was really what we've seen most of the season, what we said earlier. They create some opportunities, Leeds do, but no confidence going forward. Um, Somerville, I think, was a typical example of that. He had a great opportunity near the end and he took one touch too many, which you just see so many times they take one touch too many. They just haven't got the confidence to just go for it. Okay, we've still got one game to go. We're still in with a shout. If we win next week, we have to win. Then hope that... Um, Everton do us a favour like they didn't yesterday thank you Everton but I just can't at the moment I just can't see it I can't see it happening I think Leeds have lost their way when we look at the beginning of the season again they were they were really really good they were playing what I would say was the Bielsa way still somehow through three managers we managed to lose our way um, even with Sam Allardyce I don't know what he's trying to do he's just I suppose he's playing the Sam Allardyce way which is trying to be too tactical I'd just rather see Leeds doing what they were doing three years ago just going for it if we concede three we'll try and get four I was never more proud to be a Leeds supporter than the way we played under Bielsa and at the moment we just gutted that's all I've got that's it and I think that the most frustrating thing for Leeds is the fact that Leeds had chances they could have won this game as we keep on saying it's a story of the season where they create chances they just can't put the ball in the back of the net and you summed it up perfectly with the Somerville chance one touch too many and that could have been the game buried but no they find themselves a goal down throwing players forward vulnerable on the counter attack and then they're two goals down game over potentially season over the thing that we both sort of said is it's not over I mean you've got one more game it's possible we've seen Manchester City win the Premier League in the most unlikely of circumstances with Aguero you can have your own Aguero moment at the other end of the table I hope that happens because it feels like the last time we went to see Lee you went off on a 
passionate rant about how great the team were and you've just done the complete opposite at the end of the season and it's sad to see because I think Leeds belong in the Premier League the fan base they belong in the Premier League it's just the players on the pitch that haven't got the confidence they've got the ability I believe but they just haven't got the confidence and Sam Allardyce I think has put a bit more fight into this team than under Javi Garcia but I think it's too little too late it's a shame it's a shame but you've got one more game left Leeds fans it's not over West Ham by the way I just want to shine a light on how well they played today because in the first half they weren't quite at the races second half by far the better team smashed it and for what it's worth obviously as a Chelsea fan I should hate West Ham but I actually really like West Ham. I think they're a proper football club, great fan base. I actually saw my first Chelsea game up at the bowling ground in and amongst the West Ham fans. And I love the supporters. I love the club. And I'm happy that you guys have got the win for you guys. But I mean, I would have preferred the Leeds win for yourself. And it's just a shame. But one more game left for Leeds to try and salvage their season. All we can do is hope. Congratulations, West Ham, for staying up this season, for hopefully winning the Conference League. Um, Good luck. Good luck in the final, West Ham. Big time. And hopefully you guys get the result because it'd be brilliant if you guys win a European trophy before the likes of Tottenham and Arsenal. Join the Chelsea club. But ladies and gents, that is the end of this video. And I hope you have enjoyed. It's been a bit of an emotional one, I feel. Been a bit of an emotional roller coaster. Thank you very much for watching as always. We'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully some playoff action, but we'll see what comes our way. Last game of the season, last season. I thought we had no hope then, so... Who knows? There Who you knows? go. Just go for it, Leeds. Bring Bielsa back for one game, for God's sake. Do something. <laughs> That's it. Stranger things have happened. But ladies and gents, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. But take care. Peace and love.